So who is Ava Anderson and what can entrepreneurs and internet marketers learn from her story? Let's have her tell us from an interview that she did back in 2012 what her company was all about and why that ended up actually being kind of her downfall. I'm Ava Anderson and I started my own green company. You know, you spend a little more money but it's worth it in the end. People often think that when they buy a natural, organic, or pure product that they're not going to be exposing themselves to these harmful chemicals, but that's often not the case. Companies sometimes use that just to draw in customers. And that was sort of the launching pad for Ava Anderson Non-Toxic. Greenwashing is when a company says they're organic or pure or natural, but they often really aren't. So it's just sort of used as a marketing technique. There are products that do have lots of organic ingredients that are better than others, um, but they often still throw in, you know, those harmful preservatives and fillers and just really unnecessary harmful ingredients that you don't want to be putting on your skin. Hey biz kid, don't get greenwashed. So the problem with that and the greenwashing and everything is that she took a stance uh, against these chemicals, right? But the problem was is that they came out later on that she was using those chemicals in her products. Now I don't support bashing her and I think that she was a very uh, inspirational entrepreneur, but she really dropped the ball, her company really dropped the ball by letting toxic chemicals get back into their products. I think it was a very bold move on her part to keep to the brand like that because it's hard to make cosmetics without chemicals, right? There's a reason why not every brand does it because it takes more work, more money, more effort. And by drawing that line in the sand and branding herself and her business as non-toxic, she really, really, really took a lot of heat when they closed the doors and the studies started coming out from third-party bloggers that her products were actually using uh, these chemicals. So what we can learn from it, number one, if you draw a line in the sand with your business, you need to protect it, especially if it's this big of a thing. This really was her entire business model was the stance against chemicals and, and these toxins that were going into people's bodies. She even made up the term, I don't know if she made it up, greenwashing where people were claiming that they were giving you organic products and they really weren't and that's ended up you know accidentally what she ended up doing <laughs> number two let's talk about the multi-level marketing aspect of it you guys know that i don't like multi-level marketing right but a lot of people were making a lot of money they had over twelve thousand promoters of this product and when the company went away those commissions went away. They had a lot of people that were making six figures a year promoting just Ava Anderson non-toxic and they lost everything. So the lesson there is you need to diversify. Also, I mean, I just don't like multi-level marketing. If you want to do it, that's fine. But I don't really like how it ends up, you know, you have to recruit all these people. It starts with how much money you can make and then the product is second and you're limited to promoting just that product. That's part of why I don't really like it. So if you feel really bad for Ava Anderson, don't. Um, it wasn't cool how much bullying and stuff she got online, but her company did come back. Uh, they're now rebranded under Pure Haven Essentials, and I'm sure they're doing all right.